All right, Fern. <clears throat> As we walk up to the front door, it's got a nice little covered foyer, or a covered foyer, covered porch here. Not terribly big. It's about six by eight of a covered porch that leads you into the foyer area here. So you got a parlor area that's off of the foyer that's got French doors that lead in off of the part or off of the foyer. Um, let's see, this room is 15 feet by 15 feet. Nice large windows, very nice stained glass. I don't see it crack, crack in the stained glass really anywhere. Um, there's, uh, looks like there was a little water damage here, um, but they are here actually right now as we speak, putting a new roof on. You can see some of the, the equipment they have here. It's got about, I'd say every bit of 11 foot ceilings. I'll double check that before I leave. That was one of the measurements I didn't get. Um, but from that parlor area into the back into the foyer, you come in here and there is a another room here to the left of the foyer. And this room is 14 by 15. And it has an old non-functional but very pretty coal stove coal fireplace and this big glass window which more than likely was a, a doorway at some point could be opened up and this this room could be combined into this room I would say fairly easily and make one really nice large living room um, from this room you walk you flows in through another set of French doors into this room here um, this room is 14 by 12, give or take. All these dimensions are pretty much rounded to the nearest foot or so. I didn't get them exactly precise, but um, so this leads back out to the foyer here from this room. This is again back into that room we just came from. And this would is another stairwell that leads up to the second floor, which you'll see when we get up there which would be very convenient for, say, a master suite. Um, here was the question. The main question you had, one of the main questions you had was about the half baths. So this is one of the, the downstairs half bath. And as you can see, this hallway that leads out from the foyer is just really a, quite a bit of wasted space. So um, there is a tremendous amount of room either here to add on, you could go this way, down this hallway that leads back to the foyer with a full bath, um, or you could also go into the kitchen and take up some of the kitchen to make the full bath, go into a full bath, whether that be with a shower or a tub. Um, but here is the half bath right now. So I, I wouldn't think it would be impossible to add a tub to this. You could even put the tub, wall this off, add the tub here. You know, this would lead into the bathroom. Um, there's just quite a different ways to do it, I would suppose. Um, so here's the kitchen. It's not, you know, this was an office building, so it's not an elaborate kitchen, more of like just a, a kitchenette area. Um, but this is the, where the kitchen was set up. This is the going down into the basement here. Uh, we can pop, we'll go down there in a minute here. But this is the kitchen. Again, you got three rooms going basically front to back. You got four rooms front to back. You got the kitchen. Um, you got this room. And again, I don't know exactly what you would call these rooms because this was an office set up as an office building. So. The, this, if you open this glass window back up and open this up to make it a big foyer, that would, or make it a big living room off the foyer, that would be really, really nice. Um, I'm going to break this video up into like three or four different videos um, per floor. I'm going to do one video per floor. Here is the um, power, new electrical panel, uh, plenty of room in there for expansion. But I, I'm going to break these videos up into three videos, first floor, second floor, 
and then um, exterior. So this will be the video for the first floor.